Good morning. I am late for the Friday high five. It is uh, this Mary of Ken Buster Ministries, and uh, you know I was I was looking at Facebook this morning and it was showing me pictures from uh, three years ago, 2017. In 2017, today I would have been at the Pentagon uh, having a tour, and uh, Terry, my friend Terry, and I were. Uh, in, in Washington, D.C. We had gone to Billy Brim's um, uh, Authority of the Believer Conference in Delaware, and then we went to Washington, D.C. for several days. And, and uh, we were there actually when the uh, solar eclipse, remember the Teshuvah solar eclipse of 2017, where it started on the West Coast and then ended on the East Coast. I believe it started on in Washington, ended in South Carolina. I, I may be wrong on that. It's been a while since I've really gone over that uh, Teshuvah eclipse, but <clears throat> but uh, we're in we're in Washington D.C. Uh, at the Trump to uh, Hotel when when the eclipse. You couldn't see it from there, so we went across the street to the to a out outdoor coffee shop, and we put on our solar eclipse glasses and watched it and because it was south of us, we weren't under the totality. But it was really fun to watch. And I, I remember uh, putting up my, my phone and with the Skyview app and seeing you know, where it was situated in the heavenlies. And it was by uh, Leo the lion, the lion of the tribe of Judah. And I remember there was a, a, there was a great formation of the wandering planets. And I remember uh, the Lord speaking to me about fall, he said fall in, fall in. And fall in has to do, it's a military term, where you come and uh, you, you fall in line, you fall in your formation. And uh, so that, that was an exciting time. And so, you know, seeing those pictures come back, you know, Facebook likes to tell you what you did three years ago. And, uh, but what happened when we came back was another thing. Because after, when we came back, we had Hurricane Harvey, and that's when we had the horrible floods, the horrible floods in our area, and, and our, our house got four inches of water, which was just enough to mess everything up. You know, it took all our carpet, um, furniture, it, uh, some furniture. We, you know, I had to cut all the sheetrock up four feet, and so it was a real mess, but that was three years ago. And so this morning, I, I like to, for news, I like to turn on to um, watch.org. That's Bill Koenig. He's a White House correspondent. And uh, to find out what, what, and the top headline is, for the first time since the Great Depression, it looks like there's going to be two tropical depressions or two tropical storms uh, making landfall in the United States at the same time. That's never happened before. And so, you know, just pray for the weather. Pray for, pray for uh, the people to be prepared. You know, Jesus, um, he he spoke to his um, disciples. Remember when they woke him up on the boat and they said, "Don't you care that we're that we're drowning? Don't you care that we die?" And he rebuked them. He and that and um, because they did, you know, they did not have the understanding. And he'd been teaching them authority, and he did, they didn't have the understanding that they can speak to things. And so I speak to storms. But Ken and I have spoken to, we've seen tornadoes start coming out of cloud. We speak to it, and it goes back up into the cloud. Oh, we, we speak to storms. Uh, but there were some things that were happening in um, politics that, that could not stop Harvey. It went out and it came back in three times. First time it went in around the Corpus area. Next time it came in and dumped on us. Then it went out into the into the ocean again, and then it came and uh, dumped on Port Arthur. Port Arthur actually, you know, it looked like Houston got the worst, but I don't know the people in Port Arthur, uh, the Golden Triangle area of Texas, uh, really have not uh, probably ever recovered from it. They probably will never recover from it. And so um, I'm going to have a peaceful weekend. I have decided I'm not just going to have one Sabbath, but I'm going to have two days of Sabbath. 
I'm really tired coming back from uh, from vacation. Uh, everything that I've had to do. So actually, my phone gets turned off tonight at at sundown. It's not coming back on until Sunday night. And I'm just going to just take a Sabbath. I'm just going to rest. And you know, sometimes we just need that. You just need a, a rest. Not something I have to do. It's not something God's making me do, forcing me to do. But the benefits of coming up higher spiritually has to do with rest. Amen. So God bless you. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye-bye.